Hello there! To talk about animation and what you would learn or what software you should use, countless options appear to you and it can be quite overwhelming for the way you might have to compare those options to find the best for you and your learning goals. We tried to make that process easier for you, and today we chose two of the biggest software in the industry to compare, Adobe Animate and Cartoon Animator 5. These are some of the best industry standard software, right? But can you really tell the difference in performance between the two? Uh, let's hop into it. Before we continue, I want to talk about PicSpa. PicSpa is a website builder for artists, designers, photographers, and creatives who want to show the world their work. And it is code free, so you don't need to code anything. And PicSpa allows you to build and manage professional looking websites with a built in online store, client gallery, and a block to boot. This is what you can call an all-in-one platform that will give you everything you will need to showcase, share, and even sell your work online, and grow your business and online presence in your preferred art direction, whether it is 2D or 3D art, design, etc. This makes it a great place to build and showcase your portfolio in a professional way, which may lead you to getting more clients. PicSpot is highly graded and trusted by its users and it offers a 15-day free trial to test it out. And you can get PicSpa's basic plan for only $8 a month, or you can opt for the more advanced plans going for $25 a month. And there's also the option to get the yearly and two-year subscriptions for $3.6 a month and up to $11.25 a month. Now back to the video. Adobe Animate I don't think there's an animator who has not heard of Adobe Animate. Did you know that it was originally named Adobe Flash Professional? <laughs> it is one of the very first software that appear in the beginning of an animator's journey. Uh, yes, one of those that uh, get you confused on which software you should start learning first and which one is more industry standard and which one is for smaller and more individual productions. Well, uh, Adobe Animate can be used by both. Not to get you confused, the amount of features in this software are just uh, so incredible that you can't overlook it. Adobe Animate was originally known for its ability to create the best interactive content. Remember those funky, colorful websites that had characters and very heavily animated buttons all over the place? <laughs> yeah, Adobe Animate was the main program used to make all of those. Uh, from websites to games to uh, and interactive posters, uh, you name it. Adobe Animate was the way they were created. Over 2 million professionals were using it back when it was the only software around for that kind of animation. However, moving over time, Adobe Animate only kept improving and adding features and a large variety of tools when it comes to layers and brushes and all the vector manipulation options, making everything flexible and making it easier for the overall animation process, starting from storyboarding and planning to creating stunning frame-by-frame -frame animation, which is what it's currently most known for. Traditional narrative animation, which we know is way harder to create and takes way longer to create as well. But as we said, this software provides the features for everyone to use however they want. It also wasn't until 2021 that they added the new feature of character slash 2D model rigging, which means you can now simply create an illustration of a character or a model and then animate it automatically without all the pain. Having also added the real-time motion capture that works alongside it, making it way easier to create dialogue-heavy animations that are more focused on storytelling and characters having long dialogues as the motion capture technology allows automatic lip sync for the characters you made. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Adobe Animate is an Adobe software which intuitively implies that it supports vector graphics and uh, files from other Adobe software like Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. To keep it short, Adobe Animate is still the industry standard for creating interactive animations for mobile devices and games up to today. And its main features are the most amount of flexibility it provides when it comes to drawing, illustrating, and frame-by-frame -frame animation. You can get Adobe Animate through a regular monthly subscription at Adobe's. Cartoon Animator 5 Cartoon Animator 5 is the latest edition of Cartoon Animator. And oh boy, if you thought this software is great, wait until you know the amount of features they added recently. Uh, Cartoon Animator is tailor-made for 
Well, you guessed right, cartoon animation. That kind implies more that it's oriented to puppet animation more than frame by frame animation despite having the feature always. It allows you to draw and sketch your character or 2D model in any other software. After having your model detailed in the way you want it, you can start to animate, adjust and manipulate as Cartoon Animator supports vector graphics. You have no idea about the amount of flexibility that creates as you can finish up making your character in any vector software and then change shapes and colors with one click in Cartoon Animator. I mean, that's one of the reasons using vectors feels so good and practical, right? And speaking of adjusting and manipulating, uh, there has been another feature that made quite the fuss in Cartoon Animator 5, which is the spring bone. As you can now use springs in your models to make automatic follow through action in no time and with almost no efforts at all, making it way easier for your models to interact with the nature around them and to have a more realistic physics integrated into them. This will be a game changer as they're formerly known to be a headache for animators because they have to manually figure out how to follow through action should look like, while emphasizing the aspects of physics and natural movement of animations. They also wanted to improve the cartoonish looking aspect of the animation and by that we mean emphasizing the animation principles known as squash and stretch and this was done by the new free deformation tool that doesn't just work on the model but on the springs attached as well uh, with that exaggerating certain actions so that they can appear more or less cartoonish as you'd want them to be is now easier than ever uh, finally, to talk about the motion capture technology embedded in the software, Cartoon Animator uses a highly sensitive motion capture and facial expression recognition technology, which allows you to have a lot of character rigging animators learn animation for the sake of dialogue heavy content anyways. But that's not all. Uh, instead of only real time lip syncing and facial expression capture, you can simply insert an audio file of your choice and the character's lips sync <laughs> will be automatically animated according to it. Cartoon Animator is simply tailor-made for character animation and industrial projects and large productions. Uh, this point is strongly backed up by the fact that it can handle all the VFX editing and compositing too, making it an extremely powerful software. Uh, coming to learn about the differences, what are the major ones between the two? Or are they any differences in the first place? Well, th they both have a lot of tools and features and they both support vector, they both support 2D model rigging and spring animation, and they both support frame by frame animation. Although we are mentioning similarities, uh, each of the features cited have a certain degree of flexibility and learning difficulty, and uh, of course different approaches in each of the software. Adobe Animate gives a bigger advantage to frame-by-frame -frame animation. Uh, although the two programs can do it, uh, one is often more flexible than the other. And Animate is definitely more flexible in frame-by-frame -frame animation, uh, allowing to go more into narrative animation path. Uh, the one many people can't do or be patient for. Uh, don't worry, you're not alone in that one. While on the other hand, Cartoon Animator makes you emphasize the animation in a more cartoonish way, which is the real purpose of the software. Uh, it's in the name, remember? <laughs> Cartoon Animator is more flexible when it comes to rigging and character animation and it's tailor-made for puppet animation. Uh, needless to mention, it's usefulness when it comes to big projects since it can handle the whole process from planning to editing. Those were the differences alongside what you could tell through the first introduction for both programs. We are not going to talk about animation itself since it's obvious that if you already made up your mind, you would be learning the principles of animation and rigging regardless of the software you'd use. Uh, other than the difference that one of the software is more oriented to frame by frame animation than the other, uh, we cannot deny that both programs require a given time and dedication to master. However, it, it might be well known that Cartoon Animator has a more user friendly interface and very straightforward workflow. It's advised for beginners who still don't want to dive into the depths of animation and only getting started and want to have quicker results. However, if you're so passionate about animation and want to get into the real depth of creating stunning work and having more control over the process, Adobe Animate is your way to go.
There are countless animation software out there and you might want to take your time exploring them before you deep dive into any of them. And while you're still doing that, uh, starting small might be a good idea to explore and navigate. This was everything for today's video, so uh, we hope you enjoyed it and we will be happy to see you again soon. Take care.